platformer pretty much comes out every single week, it's hard for a game to really catch your attention. That's why when Kettle Blaster caught my attention in the coming soon section of the eShop, I knew I had to check it out. Kettle Blaster is available now on the PS4, Nintendo Switch, PC, and mobile devices for $10. Kettle Blaster has a story behind it, but it's subtle in its delivery with symbolism throughout the game. There's a literal story here, but there's also a symbolic one that's open to the interpretation of the player. You play as a frog working at a science facility called Cat and Frog that works on teleporters. You've been hired to go down to the teleporters and clean them out out of these odd looking blob monsters keeping them from working. The cast of characters are mostly silent outside of your two co-workers that are nameless but provide some quirky and humorous dialogue before every mission. Overall, it was a simple premise but one that uses imagery and metaphors to deliver a story that's more than meets the eye. Kettle Blaster is simple in gameplay design, feeling like a retro platformer shoot 'em up from the past. Imagine Contra on the Commodore 64. Controlling our little frog buddy, we walk across seven different stages, blasting our way through enemies until we reach the very dirty teleporter at the end of the stage. The difficulty curve for this title progresses steadily over time, teaching you new mechanics in what honestly feels like one of the most clever ways possible. Starting the game, you're introduced to an interactive title screen. I was puzzled, what the heck am I supposed to do? There's monsters everywhere, so I guess I'll shoot them? Oh, there's one up there. I guess that means I can climb this ladder. It slowly teaches you all the basic mechanics of the game without you even technically starting the game. Now that's freaking cool. Once you do jump into the main gameplay, you'll be introduced to new types of enemies and platforming sections that steadily get more challenging over time. The overall progression of it is well paced. As you go through levels, you're collecting coins that can then be used to upgrade your character, whether it's with their weapons or with their health. Coins can be used to level up your blasters' different types of shots. Shots are unlocked when completing stages, and using coins can make them much more deadly. If you'd rather stick to your base powers, then you can instead use your coins to regain health or unlock extra health slots. That brings me to the structure of the levels, and they can be forgiving and challenging at the same time. During my first playthrough of levels, I often found myself getting hurt as I learned the layout of things. I'd collect a bunch of coins by the midway point of the stage, but had very little health. That's where the little upgrade sections found in the middle of stages came in handy. The coins you collect throughout a stage are retained even after you die, so the game itself is very forgiving about lives. Although that doesn't make fighting the bosses or some of the later level platforming that much easier. I still found them to be quite challenging, especially after the fourth level mark. New stages didn't just bring a difficulty curve, they also added new platforming elements that kept the gameplay feeling fresh. A jetpack midway through the game, for example, has you exploring taller sections of levels that weren't previously possible. While I love that design aspect, I wish it kept it on for more. Kettle Blaster is a rather short game at only 7 levels long. It took me about 2.5 hours to beat the game in my first try, and only about an hour on my second try. There is some post-game content here like a boss rush mode and a new game plus that drops your health with the new weapon unlock. The boss rush mode is a lot of fun, especially because these bosses can get quite tough towards the later sections of the game. Let's just say that Call Them Chaotic is a bit of an understatement. Even with all the added in post-game content, I found the game to still feel short, leaving me wanting more. It's almost like a conundrum because the gameplay is already so simple that I think extending the gameplay with more levels could have made the game feel like it dragged on too long, unless new abilities were added in as well. The way the game is right now though, it still feels rather short, especially for that $10 price tag. Kettle Blaster comes from the same team that worked on big indie hits like Cave Story and Night Sky. Coming from the same developer, it's no surprise to me that they adopted a retro art style. It's reminiscent of Commodore 64 games, although now made in modern times. I like it, but it's certainly not the most beautiful retro theme game out there or one to come out recently. With that said, I found certain aspects of the simple design to be lovable and funny, like the derpy designs of characters. Whether I was playing on my PS4 with a 4K TV or on the go with my Nintendo Switch, the game scaled up perfectly to either screen size. I even had some friends of mine ask me if I was playing something on my NES Classic Edition. For reference, not all of my friends are well informed with video games. Ultimately, I did enjoy the art direction for Kettle Blaster. It's not outstanding for the retro themed genre, but ultimately good enough. Kettle Blaster has a beautiful soundtrack made with the same open source tools that fueled the music behind Cave Story. It's upbeat and catchy. The hardcoring track is one of my personal favorites in the game. It's fast paced, catchy, and easy to hum along to, especially when you're kicking boss battle butt. I couldn't help but smile while listening to the game's soundtrack. 
add in some wall design retro sound effects and minimal though appreciated HD rumble used for attacks, and you get a good enough audio package. Even if you skip out on this game, you should certainly check out the soundtrack at least. In the end, Kittle Buster is a solid retro themed shoot 'em up game. It doesn't do anything completely new or outstanding for the genre by any means, but it doesn't keep it from being a great addition to the genre either. Its level structure is well designed and challenging to play through, I just wish there was more of it because at a 1 to 3 hour playtime, depending on your skill level, it definitely feels short for the $10 price tag. That doesn't keep me from enjoying the game, but it did leave me hungry for more. If I had to give it a score, I'd give Kittle Blaster an 8 out of 10. That's our review of Kettle Blaster for the PS4, Nintendo Switch, PC, and mobile devices. If you enjoyed the game, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more reviews just like this every single week, and you can check out my most recent videos on the left side of the screen. Thank you all very much for watching, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next one.